Hi, JR here from the Terran Tactical Pro Team. I'm here to talk to you today about EOTech and why I prefer to use them on all my competition rifles. I've got a couple of my competition rifles here. This is my AR and this is my PCC. PCC is what I primarily shoot only because unfortunately there's not enough AR matches out there. Pistol caliber carbine makes it super easy to go out and shoot with the handgun boys. I'm running an EOTech, obviously. This is an XPS 2-1. I started running this about a year and a half ago and I did something kind of weird that, you know, most pro shooters won't do, but I decided to just throw this on and go to a major match with it. And I'm glad I did. The single dot MOA worked great. I'm, I'm left eye dominant, which is pretty common. You know, I'm right-handed, cross eye dominant, not a huge big deal. Um, but my left eye is so dominant that sometimes, you know, I lose focus um, on the dot because of my stigmatism in my right eye. So that's my weak eye. Using the single dot, having less information, having the single MOA that's crisp and clean makes target acquisition so much faster for me. It made a huge difference in that match that I went to with no practice on it. I literally went out and zeroed it and just sent it. And I was super happy with it. And this is actually the original one that I got. It's been on here since day one. Haven't moved it, don't plan on moving it. It goes to bed with me. It's really weird. I don't wanna talk about it, but it's just my thing. The reason why I prefer the single dot over the donut of death, if you will, I briefly mentioned it earlier, less information is more. I just want to have something to reference. So that way, fast target acquisitions become even faster. So there's a ton of dots out there that have a single dot and varying MOAs, if you will. So why did I choose this over that? A ton of reasons. The single dot in one MOA, an actual one MOA versus everyone else makes a huge difference. I can make it super tight and small for shooting um, targets at distance, and it doesn't wash out when I need it to get super bright for, um, for close targets. Traditionally, EOTech is very well known for the Serpent Bat, or the Donut of Death, if you will. 68 MOA ring around a one MOA dot. Great optic. Super fast, a ton of LE, mill guys, civilians. Everyone knows and loves it. Quick, cut to an image of so single dot versus circle dot, time and a place for each one. Um, primarily single dot is uh, everything I run, especially on a PCC. Uh, not shooting too too much stuff at distance, but if I was, that's where the donut reticle would come in handy. Um, usually I try and zero it to, uh, to where the bottom of the reticle of the donut is uh, showing my hold over. So if I'm shooting, say, I don't know, 150 yards, not too far with the PCC. There's a little bit of a hold over there, especially when you start reaching out to like 200, maybe 250. Not a ton of matches out there that do that with PCC. That's where the circle dot would kind of come in handy. Makes that hold over really, really easy and kind of a no brainer. However, I'm not doing that as often with my shooting. And even, even when I do, I don't switch it out because I can just do the hold over in my head and kind of figure it out. Everything is so much faster with the single dot. Um, you know, I'm running stages that are anywhere between six and 18 seconds on average when it's USPSA style shooting, uh, when it's PCSL style shooting, which is two gun. Sometimes those stages go a little bit longer, but it's everything from, you know, I'm going from a three yard target to a 35 or a three yard target to a 50 even. Swingers and all kinds of activators, uh, steel that I need to knock down. You name it, we're shooting it. And the single dot is so much faster for me. There's just no comparison there. Less information is more. Um, we all know we want to be target focused. The best way to do that is to have less that you're trying to focus on in between. So it's a lot easier for me to stay target focused, get on target, be fast with the single dot over the donut reticles. As you can see, I'm also running EOTech on my competition AR. All right. It's a 13.9 Criterion barrel, super fast, super accurate. I've got all the bells and whistles on here, all the TTI I love, right? But I'm also running a single dot on this too. So it doesn't change when I'm moving from my PCC to my AR, okay? Um, I shoot at distance with my AR way more than I do my PCC, but both single dots serve the purpose for what I need. Plenty of close hoser targets with this. I want to need to steady up and shoot some tight um, steel at distance, if you will. Single dot is the way. Um, my eyes aren't the best in the world. Um, I'm cross-eyed dominant. My left eye is way more dominant than my right. I've got a little bit of astigmatism in my right eye, and it's really hard for me to see things at distance. Um, the game changer for me on the single dot, especially when running my AR, because we're shooting more steel at distance, smaller steel, clays, all kinds of crazy stuff, 
is I can make that dot really small, crisp, and clean. It doesn't disappear. I don't have any flaring from the sun, and um, the the brightness levels on this are, are amazing too. I feel like I have to click it 100 times to get the full brightness. That's what I want. I want more levels of, of brightness settings, so that way I can turn it down for distance and turn it up for close stuff. Um, this is the only dot I've ever used uh, where I can shoot an eight inch, ah, actually a six inch ring at hundred yards without struggling, just because of my eyes. I don't necessarily need a magnifier when I'm shooting like that. And I feel confident knowing that I can do that with a 3-1, single dot is the way for pro shooters. Back to my PCC and the glaring question you all have, why the hell does this guy have an offset? It's for hard leans around corners. I don't have to reshoulder my rifle. I can cant it, pick up that target and it's done. The other reason I have it on here is when I'm shooting different targets at different distances. So for all the close fast stuff, I have this super bright. And then the second I go to the distance stuff, I just cant it real quick. This is super dim and I don't lose it. And I can pick up the distance targets quickly. plainly see single dot is the way could be the way for you too. forget the donor to death grab a single dot and get out there